Hello, the sun is shining outside and I'm feeling in a vaguely kind of holiday mood. So I thought I'd give you a bit of a summer special. Now, the track that I'm going to be looking at today, the theme from Endless Summer by The Sandals, I'm sure some of you are familiar with it, but I have to confess it's a new one for me. And I first heard it earlier this year when I was introduced to it by a friend. And I absolutely love this track. It's a really atmospheric surf instrumental and it's part of the soundtrack to the movie Endless Summer, which is a 1966 surf movie. And I think it's quite an easy, approachable track to play, so I hope that most of you will be able to have a go at learning this. And I'm going to start by having a play through the entire track, and then I'm going to take you through it. So without any further ado, let's go. <laughs> Okay, let's jump right in and take a look at the acoustic part to start with, just so we can get a general sense of the harmony and the structure of this piece. Now, I would describe this track as being in the key of D major, although a lot of the track has actually got a bit of a D mixolydian kind of a sound to it. We've got this pair of chords, just D going to C, and whenever you've got a pair of chords going back and forth like that, and they're both major chords, and they're both a whole step or a tone apart, it's often a very good clue that we're dealing with the Mixolydian mode. So we're kicking off with a bar of D, a bar of C. I'm just playing some straightforward open position cowboy chords here and the rhythm or the, the strumming pattern is like this. We're picking a pair of bass notes and then we're strumming. So I'm playing the D string, the G string and then strumming down, up, down. I'm doing a similar thing but on the C chord so I'm picking the fifth string the fourth string and then strumming and just going back and forth a 
and that's the introduction of the song. I think once the song gets going properly then you're not picking out those bass notes and strumming, you're just strumming all the way through. So once the song is up and running it sounds a bit more like this. So that's the bulk of the song, it's just going from D to C, but there are a few other little bits that are worth talking about. There's a bridge section where you can hear, I think it's a melodica or some kind of chromatic harmonica solo, and for that section the acoustic guitar is playing a G to an A, D, and then B minor. So all just simple open chords, G, A, D, and then a bar chord B minor. We go around again, G, A, D, and this time we go to E, and then we're back to the D to C main theme. And the only other variation you can hear is a bit later in the song, I think the third time you repeat the main theme, and it starts off as normal with the D to C, melody and the chords go up a fourth, so then we're going from G to F. And then it goes back down to the D to C. And that's about it for the acoustic part. Let's talk about the lead guitar parts then, and most of this is quite simple so I'm going to try not to labour things too much here. Now the introduction we've got these double stops played on the top two strings and they're major and minor third intervals that we're dealing with here. So we've got... So the opening shape is this one here, we've got a G note on the B string and then a B on the high E string, we're sliding into that and then we're dropping down here to F sharp and A. And uh, if you like you can uh, give it a bit of vibrato, if you've got a vibrato arm. I'm not actually hearing that on the recording, I don't think there's really any vibrato, but I think it sounds quite nice if you want to add that in. And then we're doing a very similar thing but lower down the neck, so we're coming down to here, this is an E and a G, and dropping down to a D and an F sharp. And then we're doing this. So here we're going from E and G sliding that up two frets. And then once again we've got the same double stops as the opening part of the riff. So if I put all of that together you've got the entire introduction. to what I'm going to call the main theme of this piece and this is quite a simple single note melody. It starts like this, we've just got some open strings, so it's D, A and D, and you really want to try and avoid having those two notes ringing and smudging together, so you can achieve that just with some muting with your fretting hand. So after you've played the D, just mute it with your first finger and then you avoid that overlap between the notes. And then we've got this, this is E and C, E, C, E, and moving that up two frets we've got F sharp to D and then we've got a little slide, this is from two to four on the D string sliding up and then back again. Repeating that. And then it continues like this. We've got E to D, then we're going down to a low C, and then we've got a little trill. So just second and third frets on the A string, just trilling between those notes, and then an open A string 
that's the main theme. Let me just put all of that together for you. We've got two, three, four. <laughs> Next what happens is that we're playing the same melody but we're playing it higher and this melody is played all on the high E string and that goes like this. So I'm just going to call out the notes here for you. We've got D and we're sliding down and playing an A. So it's D to A, back to D and then we've got E to C back up to E and then F sharp to D and then we've got a little E to F sharp slide and then playing the E again so uh, it seems to work best for me if I play most of that with one finger I think second finger feel, feels pretty good to me so And you get those nice slides down off of those higher notes. So that repeats. And then we've got so E to D, C, and another one of these B to C trills, and then finally an A. So if I put all of that together for you, we've got this two, three, four. Then we have that little melodica solo. Then the lead guitar re-enters. We're playing that low theme again. So the... And then the whole theme moves up a fourth. And this is nice and straightforward. We're just doing exactly the same thing, but we're moving it over to the next pair of strings. So we're starting with the open G string. We've got G, D, G, and then exactly the same thing. And we're moving back to the lower pair of strings to the D and the A strings. And we're nearly there. There's one more melodica solo. Then we've got the high theme played once again, this one. Playing that exactly the same as before and right at the very end of the song we're going back to those thirds so you can hear the those same thirds as the introduction so there we have it that's how i think it's played on the original recording though you might like to experiment with a few alternative fingerings and possibilities i think in particular on that opening riff instead of playing d a d as open strings you could actually play that all on the a string and then you don't have to worry about those muting issues. And I don't think it's done that way on the original recording. It sounds like open strings to me, but that certainly works well as an alternative. A further possibility would be to play the main low riff all on one string. And actually seen some video footage of the Sandals playing this track uh, in more recent years by the look of it. And the first time he plays that low theme, he plays it as we've just learned it. But then the second time he's playing it all on one string. So you've got this kind of... that kind of thing. So that works quite well too if you want to explore that possibility. Let's talk gear then and if you listen to the original recording the guitar sound isn't really what you would think of as a classic surf guitar sound. There's no reverb, it's very dry, there's no vibrato, there's no whammy bar stuff going on. So I'm not really trying to reproduce that in this video, I'm just going with my own kind of a sound. Now the guitar I'm using is my Jazzmaster, it's a 65 reissue Jazzmaster. The amp I'm using is my Fender Deluxe 
and I'm using one pedal and that is my Surfy Bear Reverb unit and you may ask why am I using that when there's a great spring reverb inside the Fender Deluxe and uh, it is a great reverb inside that amp. I think the reason that I'm using the Surfy Bear is just because I've got a little bit more control over certain parameters of the reverb and I can just dial it in a bit more precisely whereas the Deluxe Spring Reverb just does one thing. And for the acoustic parts I'm using my Martin 0015M. It's a mahogany bodied acoustic. It's that quite small 00 size and it records really nicely. So there we go. This is a beautiful track and I hope you have some fun learning to play it. It's a track that works really well in a duo setting. So if you've got a guitar playing friend then maybe get them to back you up on acoustic guitar while you play the lead parts or vice versa. And you can of course play along to my backing track which I'm going to make available on my Patreon page along with an accurate tab for the complete track. So check that out if you're interested. Thanks a lot for watching and I shall see you next time. Bye bye.